Hi, I'm Tiffany Stuckey with Arts Altoona Live. We're here today in Holidaysburg at the Maker Studio with Sarah Bamba in Holidaysburg. Um, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Arts Altoona Live. So to begin, what is Maker Studio? Maker Studio is a community space where we offer arts and crafts classes to all ages. And craft classes like specifically in what vein? So with crafting, we kind of keep the medium wide open. So we do things with um, plants like kokodamas and wreath workshops. Now, what um, is a kokodama? Kokodama <laughs> is actually Japanese for ball of moss. So you take a, um, a succulent or some sort of plant and you wrap it all up in sheet moss and it can hang in a window. Um, so we did a workshop with kokodamas recently. Um, and then some of the other crafts we do have to um, be done with paper and, um, you know, flowers made out of paper and all sorts of things. And so the age range for your workshops? Mm -hmm. So um, we have different age groups for the workshops. We have mini maker classes that are for five years old and younger. Which my son loved. He <laughs> made flowers with Sarah. It was wonderful. <laughs> Those are a lot of fun. <laughs> sometimes they finish their craft, sometimes it's more of a mom group, but they're, they're fun. Um, then we have mixed age groups that are um, just open to anybody who wants to try out a certain craft. Um, and then we have adult only classes typically on Friday and those are um, anything from cookie decorating to uh, hand embroidery, just a lot of different things. Now I know with with cookie decorating, you work with other um, businesses in the area, correct? Correct, yeah. So I teach a lot of the classes myself. My background is education, but I also bring in guest instructors for things that um, they have specific talents in. So there's a local cookier who does sugar cookies with royal icing, and she comes in and teaches um, that class. Now, um, what is your background, and how does that affect what you do? Sure, so my background is elementary education, K-6, to and I worked in supplemental education for about 10 years. Um, so I love teaching and I'm definitely a lifelong learner. Um, and I've also been passionate about crafting and making things and I'll look at something and think, oh, I can do that. Right. <laughs> so I combined my two passions and opened the studio. Yes, amazing. Now, why Holidays for Blair County? Are you from here? What, what lane did you back here? Yes, yeah, so I'm from Holidaysburg. I graduated from um, the high school here. And it's funny because when I was younger, I couldn't appreciate maybe the things that were here. And I, I wanted to get out and travel and see new places. And then a couple years ago, my sister started having kids and getting married and I needed to come home. Right. Um, and as an adult, I definitely have an appreciation of the area and what we have and it's just so great to be home. Well, we're glad that you're here. Um, if you haven't not been to the space, it, it truly is just a beautiful space to come and do these things. Now, could you share a few memorable um, responses or um, to your workshops? Sure, yeah. The one that sticks out most of all would be during a dot journaling workshop and if you don't know dot journaling is a personalized planner system where you have a blank journal and you actually tailor it to fit your own specific needs so it's for scheduling purposes but also um, like gratitude type collections are in there as well and we were doing a specific layout um, that's called a year in pixels and it's more so to take a look back at your days and how you felt on a specific day and one of the participants in that class actually noticed through her year in pixels layout that um, her pain medication was actually wearing off sooner than it should be. And she took her dot journal to her doctor and showed him what she had been doing. And he was like, wow, you're right, it is. And they adjusted her medication. And I, to me, it was just like, wow, it's more it's than just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. Now, um, you also do parties here, correct? Yes, yes. So we do birthday parties and also um, just different types of 
uh, family events or baby showers and bridal showers and things like that. But uh, we have birthday party packages and the most popular one is our glow party. So I customize a canvas to the birthday kids loves. One times it was swaths and cheeseburgers, which was so fun. <laughs> it was hysterical. I was like, yes, this is exactly what I want to draw. Um, and we set up glow um, black lights and they use glow paint and neon paint and they get to paint their canvases and they have pizza and cake so and cool. it's fun. <laughs> they love them. <laughs> now, what are some of the upcoming um, events and workshops for this um, month, the month of May, maybe through the summer? Yeah, so we have, um, for the month of May, we have our cookie decorating workshop. Uh, we have hand lettering, which is super popular right now. It can be used for just you know, journaling, or you can use it for home decor purposes. Um, we have mini maker classes that are no mess canvas painting, which is really fun. Um, and then we also have prom minis coming up this month. So I partnered with a local photographer and uh, it's a mini session capturing that day for the kids going to prom. So that, I'm so excited for that. It's both Altoona and Holidaysburg proms. Um, and then summer, we actually do have summer camps that are okay. on the calendar um, and again, a wide variety of different types from culinary creations to passport to the arts, just a lot of different things. And you also, I know, in connection with your teaching background, you were offering some kindergarten readiness. Yes, classes, yep. Correct. yep, we have um, Mini Maker Kinder Prep. And I started that because there's a need for that, in my opinion. Um, so we just look at letter recognition and forming letters in a fun way. It's more sensory learning and um, kind of combining arts with that. Wonderful. Now, um, as we wrap up, how can uh how can someone find you to sign up for these wonderful things? Yeah, so our, all of our classes are posted on the Maker Studio Facebook page. Um, it's facebook.com slash makerstudio814 and all of our events are on that site. Um, also, we're on Instagram, uh, same thing, makerstudio814. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're here in holidays for doing this. It's such a wonderful, wonderful thing to offer for our families and for um, like a fun mom sitting out. <laughs> uh, so um, now audience, it's your turn to share. I hope that you'll join in the discussion by leaving a comment below. Did this video inspire you some way? Do you have a story that's relevant to our subscriber community? If so, um, let us know in the comments. And if you hadn't had the opportunity, please like this video and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube and on our Facebook page at Arts Altoona. We have a weekly newsletter that has something for everybody in Blair County. Um, and thank you audience for your part in ensuring that everybody knows how amazing the Blair County community is and about the people and organizations like Sarah Bama from Maker Studio that helped to make it that way. We hope to see you next time at Arts Altoona Live. <laughs>